going to be another get ready with me. I really hope you like these. Um, today is going to be half errands and half work. I start work at 3.30, so I'm going to be around the house filming, editing videos, and then I have to go run out to like the grocery store and a few things and then go to work for a full eight hour shift. I won't be home until about midnight tonight, so my makeup really needs to last. So I hope you enjoy and I will talk to you guys in just a second. First thing we're going to do is the Benefit Boing, which y'all know is like my favorite under eye concealer in the entire universe to get rid of these damn dark circles because I have way too many of them. And then I'm going to be going in with Revlon Color Stay in 150 Buff. This is for normal to dry skin, not the oily one. And today I'm going to take that on my beauty blender, which I recently found because when we had those kittens they kind of like moved my, I moved my entire room and I finally found it. As per the usual, e.l.f. HD uh, concealer in the yellow shade, um, which I think is the brightening shade. It could be correcting though. Nope, brightening. And then I just go back in with my beauty blender. By the way, I tried the um, Real Technique sponge and it has absolutely no, there's no competition. The beauty blender still wins. I know it's ridiculously expensive. I feel like you could get away with the um, Real Techniques one. If you've never had a beauty blender, I think it's fine. Um, I do think it's a good sponge. I have been using it on and off, but it's nowhere near as good as the beauty blender. I know this is a bitch to clean and it's really expensive. Then I will be taking my new favorite, which is the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. This is in... I think I tore off the shade. No, there it is. Dulce de Leche. And I like to just go in and set um, most of my face with a lighter color, because the lighter color is actually pretty darn close to my skin tone. And I do set my under eyes and everything with this. And so far, so good. I mean, it's not the best setting powder. Like, I still prefer my Rimmel Stay Matte, but I'm out of that at the moment, so I need to buy that soon here. And this is not the right brush. Hang on. This is the right brush. This is the Real Techniques Contour Brush. And you just need the tiniest a little bit, because this stuff goes a long way. If you want a more natural look, that is. If you want a heavier contour, then obviously you're going to need to pick up more product. Do you guys like Get Ready With Me's? Or do you like more like review type videos? Tell me in the comments, please, because I am in like desperate need for inspiration for my channel. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I want to talk about. It's just like, I don't know what you guys like anymore. So tell me in the comments, what kind of videos do you want to see more of, please? And I will try to oblige. I know I got a request to do the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Compact review. So if I can find that in the color that I am, I will, of course, pick it up and do that for you guys. I'm going to do my brows now because I feel like I look pretty scary without them. So uh, see you in a minute. You guys have seen me do this a hundred times. It's just my e.l.f. Um, brow kit and this is in ash. Alright, next is blush and I'm actually going to be trying this Gia Minerals. I got this in my goodie box for January and I haven't really played with it too much. So I figured why not play with it on camera for you guys so you guys can see. I don't really know. It's such a tiny container of blush. Like I don't really know how to get it equally on my brush here, but we're going to try just kind of dipping it in and tapping it off. That has a really nice sheen to it, but not much color so far. I don't know if you guys can even see that. You can probably see that my cheek's gotten shimmerier, more shimmery. All I can see is shimmer. If I look dead on into the mirror, I can see a little bit of pink, but generally I can just see like a very silvery shimmer, which is really pretty, but almost like too much. Like, do you see that craziness right there? Oh, compared to this cheek. Okay, I guess you can see a little bit. By the way, you guys all should know by now, I don't have a camera with a flip out screen, so I actually have to put a mirror behind the camera in order to see the screen at all. And so I'm always like, ditching and dodging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like that very much. Um, that's like really, really shiny for not much pink. Well, that was a total fail. Um, I'm going to add that to my products that did not work out for me because that did not work out for me at all. And I'm just going to turn and take like a microfiber cloth and see if I can get some of it off. And then maybe we'll just kind of cover it back up <laughs> with some foundation and move on. 
Yeah, okay, that's a total fail product. Gia Minerals is not for me, apparently. So, let's use something else. Let's use, like 95% of all my blushes are e.l.f. because I love their blushes. Let's use Twinkle Pink today. Like, just like, um, pretty close to like Nars or Orgasm type of a thing, but it does have some glitter in, glitter in it, so I like to shake off my brush. Of course, one cheek is going to be way more shiny than the other now, but not much I can really do about that at this point. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Pink Passion and try to make my cheeks match a little bit better. Because that ha did have a little bit of a baby pink type undertone to it. I feel like I now look like a clown. Do I look like a clown? I'm pretty sure I look like a clown. We will just blend some of that away. This is a Real Techniques type of brush. I got it on eBay for $2. I'm still feeling pretty pale, so I'm going to throw a little bit of NYC Sunny kind of over the top of that. And if I make myself into a total clown, I can always start over because I have hours before work. And then I'm going to throw on lipstick now because last time I did a Get Ready With Me, I feel like I saved that for last and I looked dead until the very end. So, and I also want to draw inspiration for my eyes from this. This is Wet n Wild Raven Raisin in their Mega Last line. Okay, lipstick is on. Now we're going to go find some purple palettes here. I've got some like chocolatey browns that I want to use in this palette. This is the e.l.f. Matte Palette. I have my Wet n Wild Petal Pusher Palette, which is like lots of purples. And then down here I have a couple of Avon quads that I think have purple in it. Yeah, so this is Avon um, True Color Eyeshadow Quad in Purple Haze, and we'll try to incorporate maybe this color here. And then the last palette that I have that has some purple in it is the Thrift Store Chic uh, Limited Edition Palette that they came out with uh, last year, I think, year before. This is mostly pinks, but just in case I wanted to throw some of, the, some of that in there, I wanted to show you everything I might use. And we are going to start by taking the um, fourth shade in. This guy right here from their palette. It's kind of like mauve, basically. Just very simple mauve color. And then I'm going to take the very lightest shade here and just kind of work on blending that out into my eye space. And back to my contour palette, I'm going to take the lighter shade and go underneath my eyebrow, just a tiny bit here. In the Avon quad, I'm going to take number three, that really nice purple color. I'll put it up closer so you can see it, see how beautiful that is. And I'm going to go on the outer portion of my lid here. I like to use my fingers for a lot of the Avon and a lot of the Wet n Wild products just because I feel like you get better pigment if you just pick it up with your finger versus like a brush. I don't know where it stopped filming, hopefully not too long ago. Um, I'm just taking my Avon number three here and putting it a little bit more into my crease. Okay, and then for my Pebble Pusher palette, I'm going to take this color here, which is just super shimmery, and basically just go right over the Avon one. And then I'm going to pick up this kind of duochrome red right by my thumb there. It's like red and gold and pink all at the same time, and it's beautiful. And then lastly, from this palette here, I'm going to take the darker color and just kind of pop that right in the center. Okay, I guess I lied. Not quite lastly. I'm also going to be taking the kind of brow bone white color. It is not white. It's one of those ones that's kind of just like a transformer shade. Like it barely has anything, but it's just got like a little bit of like sparkle. It'll lighten your inner eye really well. Almost finished, you guys. I'm going to take the e.l.f. palette again in a teeny tiny little smudge brush from Real Techniques, which is called the Ascent brush. I'm going to go in with this chocolate brown here and kind of line my eyes a bit. I don't want to do any heavy black today. 
So just kind of smudging this right along my lash line. Well, I feel like that works pretty well. I mean, that's pretty much what I was going for, so I'm going to call that good. I'm not fucking around with it. And then I'm going to take my Avon Big Lash, Big and False Lashes Mascara. I don't know if I've really shown you guys this before because I've been, I used it exclusively for like three or four weeks and then kind of stopped. Um, but it's this ginormous brush and I love, absolutely love the formula. Do you see how like giant my lashes are now? I love it. Why that? And then I'm gonna go in with a different mascara for my bottom lashes because I feel like that is far too big to really get close to close enough to the lash line as I want. So I'm gonna take a different Avon mascara. This is the Avon Super Extend mascara. It's like a tiny skinny guy that's really lengthening. And then I'm also gonna top off my lipstick because I feel like I put too much pink in my eye. Like this Avon, whatever the hell this is. This is something. Ultra Color Indulgence Lipstick in Rose Bouquet because it is quite a lot pinker. But yeah, this is pretty much as good as it gets for the day. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I love you so much. I'll see you in my next video. And again, please tell me in the comments below or on Twitter or whatever, whatever you want to use, what kind of videos you would like to see more of so that I know what you want to watch. Anyways, you guys, love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.